Hi dear children. Today we are going to learn lesson 5 named measurement. Measurement is the process of observing and recording the observations that are collected as part of a research effort. Let us try to compare some objects. Take the bigger object. From the first picture, which is bigger object? Rabbit or elephant? Elephant is a bigger object. Next, you see the second picture. There are two objects, book and a pencil. You compare these two objects. Which is the bigger object? Book is the bigger object. Next, chair and cutting player. Here we know that the chair is bigger object. Next, telephone and television. Which is the bigger obje object? Television is a bigger object. Take the shorter object. See the picture. First one. Who is shorter? Boy or girl? Boy is shorter than the girl. The next one. There are two pencils. Which is the shortest pencil? The first or yellow pencil is shorter than the big pencil. Next one. Compare the next picture. Three, there are two fishes. Here, the smallest or first fish is shorter. See the last objects. Violin and comb. Which is the shortest object? Comb is the shortest object. See the pictures. First picture, key and lock. Lock is the heavier than the key. Next, see the second, third and fourth pictures. Here, ball, table and dinosaur are the heaviest objects. Our next topic is measurement of length. Length is the term used for identifying the size of an object. Now, I am going to discuss about some non-standard units of length. Parts of our body can be used for measuring the length of objects. First one is fingers, hand span, cubic and space. These are known as non-standard units of length. When two persons use these non-standard units to measure length of an object, their answers may differ because different persons have different size and length. Measurement of mass or weight. See, this is a balance. We use balance to measure weights of objects. A balance has a balanced beam and two pans. While weighing the pan of the balance which goes downwards contains the heavier object and the pan which goes up contains the light ob lighter object. See some examples. First picture. Book is heavier than the banana and banana is lighter than the book. Next one, balloon is lighter than the bowl and bowl is heavier than the balloon. Next is, pencil and pen. They have equal weights. Write heavier or lighter in the blanks. We learned that is, the pen of the balance, which pen has heavier object, it goes downwards. And which pen has lighter object, it goes upwards. Okay. In this first picture, shows us apple is heavier than banana. And banana is lighter than the apple. The next picture, see the second picture. Cup is dash than pencil. And pencil is dash than cup. The balance shows us that is pen of the cup is down and the pen of the pencil is up. So, cup is heavier than pencil and the pencil is lighter than cup. See, first one, fill in the blanks. First one, dash is heavier than dash. See the picture and say, book is heavier than banana. Next one. Banana is lighter than book. The next picture um, shows us 
bat is heavier than the ball and ball is lighter than the bat next is measurement of capacity what is capacity the quantity of liquid that a container can hold is called its capacity liquid means water milk oil etc bigger vessels have more capacity and smaller vessels have less capacity see the pictures here mug and drum have more capacity because these are bigger than cup and bucket cup and bucket are smaller so they have less capacity take the container which has more capacity see here plate water bottle mug and bucket are bigger than other containers so they have more capacity take the container which has less capacity see the pictures in these pictures cup glass and bottle are smaller so they have less capacity you go through this video and take your textbook try to write your notes okay thank you